Hey y'all, good morning. The time is now Monday, March 11th at 1.21 a.m., okay? Listen, I am officially able to now post my videos on YouTube. We don't even want to get into that because ain't going to do nothing but make me mad. You know, they trolling the wrong shit is what I'm saying. Anyway. Um, I will be uploading a lot of videos, okay? So, just be prepared because I did a lot of videos last week. I did one, like, every day. And on some days, it was two downloads that I had received in that one day, okay? Now, listen, I received downloads all day, but it was two downloads that I was supposed to get out, okay? Anyways... I'm picking up uh, my bitch bag looking like a bag of money. That bitch bag looking like a bag of money. I go and get it and I let her count it for me. Shit. I fuck her good because she always riding for me. Ooh, somebody. Heartbreak is what tried to pop out, y'all. I don't think y'all seen that. Heartbreak. This is the Heartbreak Hotel. This is the Heartbreak Hotel. This is the Heartbreak Hotel. <laughs> heartbreak, rejection, romance. Oof. Let me see what's this energy. Chad. Mm -mm. That stuff for these real good, y'all. Y'all hear me? Because listen, Linda. Ooh, somebody. They like to have some legal trouble going on. Oh, my goodness. Mm -mm. Somebody could be feeling like their husband cheating on them. With somebody at their job. I'm, I'm hearing that song. I'm hearing Whitney Houston play so loud in my head right now. And I'm hearing this part. You made a fool of me. Y'all know that song. You said, <laughs> I don't know the song. I just know just a little bit. Okay. So y'all gonna have to listen to that song. But I'm hearing her part so strong. You made a fool of me. <laughs> this is the heartbreak hotel. This is the, I'm talking about a divine masculine. Or you could be watching me, so I'm talking to you, masculine. This woman feels deceived by you. Love bombs. Uh, and you really turned out to be a motherfucking sex addict. Going through bullshit. Going through legal matters. Let me tell you. You are, in, this motherfucker is an energy vampire. He a love bomb the shit out of a motherfucker. And, and leave your ass dry. You see me? Leave your ass dry in deep regret that you ever fucked with him. He lied. Said how much he'll take care of you. How much y'all was destined to be together. Y'all was gonna make so much money together. Look at this. And he ain't nothing but a fucking karmic. Chap, you don't leave his ratchet ass the fuck alone. He got worms. He got freaking worms. <laughs> hey, y'all. He got worms. He wasn't nothing but a karmic. He ain't nothing but a karmic. And you might be talking to, listening to me right now. 
You are a karmic masculine with issues. You get what I'm saying? With legal issues. No matter what those legal issues may be, you got them. And this, whoever I'm talking to, if you're feminine or a masculine, take the roles how they resonate, okay? You do, you feel love bombed by this motherfucker with back message, I mean, back stories and love message. It's a back message that needs to come through because I was just going to read this and give it up. So it's a back story to even how you and this person even got together. Love bombed the shit out of you, but it really was like sex. It was the sex that kept you stuck. The sex is really, really good. He do got some good talk about his ass, but he ain't got no action. He, he, ain't, he ain't got no action. He ain't got no motion. No motion. <laughs> He's a karmic. He ain't gave you all these damn promises. And you didn't kept a mental note of the shit. Thinking that it's going to really get checked off the list. Ain't shit happening. Shit, it's a karmic. You know ain't shit going to happen. Damn. Damn. He got you hooked too. Shit, hook like a fish in the water, baby, just ready to be taken to the air. <laughs> Shit. You, you need to detach from this motherfucker and close this cycle out. Let's get some tarot. Look at that at the bottom of the deck. You need to detach and close the damn cycle out. You hear me? Because this masking got some issues anyways. You get what I'm saying? Very toxic. Um, relationship as far as he'll suck you dry. It's like you be leaving even after sex, you don't you don't leave uplifted. You don't leave like happy and in good spirits and just you know, it's like you leave drained. see what this is it's the eight of coins all he do is take 
and the four of coins at the bottom of the deck. All he do is sit around and see what he can acquire from somebody else. See what he can take from somebody else. Look, the hangman and the seven of swords at the bottom of the deck with the ten of swords. All he do is hang around and see who what he can take from everybody else and hold on tight to, to other people's possessions. Through lies, through deceit. And even self-deception shit. Sometimes he probably even be believing his own motherfucking self. This is um, the Ten of Swords and the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Told you. And the Empress too. He be believing his own fucking lies. And that's all he do is form partnerships off of fucking lies. And leave, the, leave you, the person, in regret. Want to fuck a motherfucker up that you even allow a motherfucker in your life like this? It remind me of that um that shit that's been going around. I have not watched not near one of the things because I ain't got time. You get what I'm saying? Nobody got time for that shit. Leave that shit over there. I don't. Want, I don't. I don't inhale people's energies on me through a lot. I don't. It's a lot I don't watch because I'm not gonna put your energy off on in my life. You get what I'm saying? I don't give a damn how good it is. The um, series that's supposed to be going around, you know, you just see the buzz, though. The series uh, about who did I marry or who the fuck did I marry, something like that. That's what it almost remind me of, some shit like that. Like, this person just formed partnerships off of lies. And that's what this person has done. This person could be a Pisces. Don't have to be. I always want the woman to just he I'm hearing hear me out. He might even say that, like hear me out. But he's a fucking karmic. Leave this man alone. He got some legal issues that I'm about to jump into. I ain't forgot about those. But This is just beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. At least seeing Linda. <laughs> I could be talking to somebody of Mexican, Latino, Puerto Rican descent. The Nine of Swords is here. For this um, legal matters. This is something from his past coming to haunt him. Something he did in, the, in his past life. That he tried to keep covered up. By keeping his life together with women who had their shit together. But to be honest. He's still in bullshit. Clarify this nine of swords. The strength. The strength. <coughs> Clarify what what is this? What is this strength? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like I said. Like I said. His monkey ass. Okay. Uses women who are successful. Who have a lot of discipline and focus and willpower. He uses those type of women. You know, he talk real good to you. To get what he wants. To balance out his life.
And then he leave you fucked up. Like I said, feeling empty. Feeling broken on the inside. That you believed all his lies. You know, you let the dick do most of the talking. You know. I'm just saying. We still got this Nine of Swords and this Strength card over here. The re there's something in his past that got him going through these legal battles with this Nine of Swords. I mean, yeah, with this Nine of Swords. But <clears throat> it, he's a fire sign. And whatever it is, it's, it's going to be his lesson for doing the shit that he do. Okay, so whatever it is, one of his exes, ooh, he did something to one of his exes. This man got, got child support with the um, shady and love child karmic lesson, psycho egg. Yeah, he got he got a whole secret child. Damn, I picked that up too in the beginning, and I sway stayed away from it. I was like, I don't want to put no baby off on nobody. This man got a whole secret child, y'all. You don't even know about this child, and that's why he uses wealthy women. He gets y'all in a position or, you know, not even just wealthy, but I mean, you just got something going for yourself. Shit, you don't got to have like a lot of money in the bank to be wealthy. Okay. But you got shit going for yourself. You know what I'm saying? And you've done a lot. You've built a lot on your own. And you, some of you may have already been married before and you got divorced. And so you have entered back into this dating world. And, you know, this person probably done took you by storm and you probably, and the dick is so good, you know, and it's like, ooh. That's what I'm hearing. It's like, ooh. And you you are very, very successful in your own right. Very ambitious. You know, you are somebody that builds a home. You are a wise woman, not a foolish. And this person may have them come in and completely love bombed you, put the dick on you, like just got you so gone that he dig it, even digging in your pockets. And shit, for some of you, you probably could know he got a child. And you probably been helping him pay his child support. I don't know what the fuck this is. But I'm picking up on a secret child just as well. Mmm. Also, the person who he got the child with, she could be watching um, you on social media through fake accounts. Be mindful of her crazy ass. She's obsessive. Let's see. Wow. Ain't that something? <clears throat> Can you clarify a little more <clears throat> about this strength card? Why is this nine of swords and strength here? He was just so sure that you would help him get over this, this like legal matter that's why i'm picking up with this nine of swords and strength he was he was just sure of it he was sure that you were going to be his leg up i 
I don't know why he was sure like that. But he was because he thought he had you in the bag. Because he been fucking you good and everything. But he really been draining your ass. Leaving your ass in regret. Both, both physically and spiritually. Especially sexually. His, his, his spirit drains the fuck out of you. Whoever I'm speaking to. Mm -hmm. I think I'm about to end this. Mm. Oh, girl. The Seven of Cups, the Hangman, the Eight of Pentacles, Strength. I'm hearing you say, I mean, I could have chose other motherfuckers. You get what I'm saying? I said a friend chose a motherfucking liar. That's definitely what I'm hearing you say. Someone who tried to change my fate, you know, by lying. Putting me in uncomfortable situations is what I'm hearing. Oh, yeah. With this Queen of Swords, you is not playing. You are very critical of this person at the moment. Then the Ten of Swords. Mm. Oh, child, this is a bit much, honey. But let's get let's see what the outcome of this gonna be. And let's go, because this person ain't good for you. This person is a, got karmic rent big as hell on their forehead. And you missed it. Digmatized is what I'm hearing. Yeah, you were digmatized. Shit, it's okay. We all... <laughs> Look, I've seen the nine of cups. It's okay. We all have, you know, saying gone through the valley deep. <laughs> yeah, we all have gone through the valley deep, my child. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Indeed, five of cups. Told you regret. You was just regretting even fucking with this man. <laughs> I'm not laughing at your pain, baby, because listen, I've been there. I've been there. I, you know, had a, some, a few times I'd have been there. Digmatized. That shit will have you fucked up. <laughs> Five of Cups is what came out. I want to want to know why, cause I'm trying to end this. You know it did it. It has she has left you completely in regret. You, you know your focus is this little cracked. You know it's not as stable as it used to be. You know because you feel betrayed by this person. I don't know. Maybe you just, some of y'all could even just be in finding out that this person had a child. You know, after, I don't know, it's something about a child here. Oh, Lord, I was trying to end this. Let me see what this is. What is this I'm picking up on about a child? I don't know. Um, he this was a love child too. This wasn't like just a fly by night type of thing. For some of you, this person could have even said that, you know, this was like a one night stand with this person, with this ex person. No, this ex of his who has his child. This ex who has his child was more than his ex. See this shady right here? See, he's telling you that, oh, that was just like a one-night stand or, you know, it was like a fly-by-night type of fling. He keeping a mask on what it really was. That was 
he that was his soul way and he felt that he knew that that's a love child and for some he just plays with other women to get y'all money is that's what i'm picking up in y'all sex he just he's a vampire he's an energy vampire he's just going around sucking your energy from you money sex love bombing you you know he may even spend a little money just a tidbit you know what i'm saying to keep to keep you hooked because but that's what you are you're just like this fish that's hooked and they're not even trying to let you go there let you up a little bit then that put you back down there let you up you know and so what you make up your mind you either go keep my ass in the water you gonna let me on on air shit and you may have just found out or you're about to find out that this person has a has a child with someone he had built a home with with someone he was connected to and this gonna put you in with this five of cups this is gonna put you in even more regret even more loss she could have left him because she knew he was a cheater because she knew he was never gonna change Oh, fool, the fool, I told you. She left him because she knew he was never going to change. Look at this. With the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. What I just tell y'all? She left him because she knew, she knew for a fact this man was never going to change. She like, he ain't changing. Ooh, spiritual yarn. Mm -hmm. She left him in the cold. She left what that child too to have a new beginning. So he really ain't even over her. Ooh, some of you could even. Oh my God, it's about to come out. Some of y'all do not even know this about this person. And when it comes out, you are gonna remember this message. Whenever you watch this, or it's gonna resonate. Because I'm telling you right now, you're going to find out, oh my goodness, that this man is still tied to this woman in a lot of different ways. <clears throat> you're going to find out that he has a child. Ooh, we with the eight of swords at the bottom of the damn deck. Confusion. Confusion. Ooh. It's going to be so much you find out, y'all. Like, listen. Uh, some of you could dye your hair like a burgundy or deep-rooted red. Mm hmm some of you are still obsessed with um choke holders uh you know collar chains some of you love wearing athletic gear i mean like it's like for real like you wear athletic gear for everything Like, definitely. Oh, my goodness. The Magician and the Five of Swords. Yeah, this man. I'm going to tell you, you have, this is like, for some of you, this is like a 4C. Like, this is going to come out if you don't know that. It, it is. If this is for some, I'm talking to the ones who, I don't know, I'm picking up. This is something that's about to come out. Like all of his lies, all of his deception. Trying to keep people blind, confused, you know. 
It's just so much. Mm. I'm going to end it here. Well, listen. Let's get an outcome. Three of Swords. That's the outcome. Yeah, I mean, girl, I, Three of Swords feel right over here. Where feel like shit, massive regret, fed up with karmic ties three of swords betrayal that's all we've been talking about how somebody felt betrayed you know like i cannot believe i like this motherfucker it's something i'm just that's what i'm hearing i cannot believe i like this motherfucker Can I get, um, you, okay, so, things are gonna, uh, look up for you. They're, 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 the cloudy days are not always gonna be in the sky, you know, but then there's a upside to having cloudy days because you know that after the rain subsides, the sun, it always shines, Right? And that that's like God's promise to let you know that he's always going to come in and heal you. You understand? So you don't have to worry. You you, you don't have to live um, in anxiety, you know, and, and feel like your life is going to be a self prophecy or that you've put on yourself or um, a prophecy that your family has put on you that you'll never be with anyone or you'll never have love or you know things of that matter like leave all that shit where it need to be because it, it don't concern you and the nine of swords came back around it does not concern you you don't need to negotiate you know with god you don't need to negotiate with god about love for you he knows your destiny. He knows your fate. And he knows the time that it will unfold. The time that it will unveil. And this heartbreak, this sorrow, this betrayal, it, it's just a, a good way to bring about a change. It may be feel bad, but it's still going to bring about a great change in your life. And now you can give this lesson on to somebody else so they won't make the same mistakes. But God will bring someone in your life. A king of swords will come into your life. Somebody that's very intellectual. Somebody who gives very good wise counsel. Someone who's truthful. Someone who's stable, honest, understanding. Someone who's very romantic. Someone who's creative with this king of cups here and this king of swords eight of pentacles someone who's very dedicated to loving you someone who wants to build a family tree with this ten of pentacles yeah that's what your outcome is going to be okay so I hope this message helps. You know, I missed you guys so, so much. I am so, so happy to be posting um, my videos again. And I hope to see y'all on the next one. And if you like the way I read, please hit, please hit the like, comment, and subscribe button. You know how I feel about y'all talking to me. So please comment down below. Okay, y'all. See you on the next one.